Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you for watching. So a while ago, I posted a video about unboxing and my initial use of the Isotunes free wireless earbuds. So I've got some comments down below about people asking me how well they work. At the time, I wasn't comfortable really weighing in on how I felt they work because I didn't have a whole lot of experience with them. So since then, I've been using them for a couple months now. I've gone through a number of major projects, both in the garage, outside, as well as in my personal office. And I wanted to follow up and explain to everyone my pros and cons of what I like and dislike about the Isotunes wireless earbuds. All right, well, let's get on with it. So let's start with what I like about these. The first and foremost thing is they're just super easy to use. When I took them out of the case initially, they instantly went into pairing mode. I opened my phone and they paired uh, without any effort whatsoever. And so that was really nice. It wasn't a complicated, long, drawn out process. Uh, secondarily, to use them, you literally just put them in your ears and uh, press a button to start the music and press the button to stop the music. And then the other button controls volume and uh, going through the music and whatnot. All right, the second thing that I like about them is the sound quality. Now, they don't have quite the punch that some other wireless headphones I've used have, uh, but for their size, they really do a great job at reproducing the sound. The mid-range is pretty good. The, again, the bass is a little bit weak and the high end is just a little bit tinny. But you know, for, for this particular product, for what it's being used for, they're not intended for high end audio gear. They really do do their job wonderfully in terms of music. I have used them on a couple phone calls and they work pretty well for that as well. You can hear the people talking on the other end very well and they can hear you as well. So that is good news. Number three, the sound blocking capabilities of these are very good. Uh, when they're in my ears and I'm in the garage without music playing, I can really not hear a whole lot around me. When you play music, they're not noise canceling earbuds, they are noise blocking earbuds. So they do keep the sound from the outside out and the music plays through. But if there are really loud sounds in the garage, you can hear it through a little bit. Now they don't work as well as these, these particular earbuds that I have that I use occasionally. These just block the sound out just a little bit better. They are rated by OSHA for sound protection, so uh, no worries there. So that's all good. All right, so now on to the things that I don't like about the Isotunes free earbuds. So number one is actually a pro and a con. Uh, it is actually their size. They are very small and that it comes in handy at times. So they fit in the ears very well. The problem is they are so small. I have set them down before. Well, I've set one of them down. I had to take them out to hear people talk take it out, set it down, and I've misplaced it uh, at least three times now. And so that's a little uh, disconcerting given the cost is how easy they are to misplace. But hey, you know, pros and cons there. Um, the size is small and easy to use, but that also means they're easy to misplace. I did get the green version, and I will tell you the green version is better at finding than the pure black one. The green kind of stands out here in the garage and around the house, not a lot of kind of bright green things in the house. So, I mean, that's good news. Second thing that I don't like about them, and this is a little nuance of this particular design, but uh, the right earbud here is the main controller and you control them through this button on the back. And so to start and stop the music, you press the button down and then you release it and then you press it again and release it. What this does, is it has the, uh, uh, the annoying side effect of pushing the earbud into your ear. And you know, for a simple one push, to stop the music or to start the music, it's not too annoying, but in the left earbud has a similar button. And to advance the music or to back up a track, you have to press multiple times. And that can get really quite annoying as it's pushing these earbuds further into your ear canal. And so I feel like it could have been done a little bit differently, although off the top of my head, I'm not sure where they would put a button other than maybe on the sides. But as they are snuggled in the ear canal, it actually forms kind of inside your ear. And so I could see a button on the side being challenging to get to. But um, that is one thing you need to um, kind of know about. Uh, if it becomes super annoying to you in particular, you know, control your music with the phone and the volume or start and stop the music if you want to pull out your phone or if you have your phone handy. So 
just something to keep in mind. The third thing that I don't like about these earbuds is the black foam tip. It's not actually necessarily about the foam tip per se, but about the way in which it was manufactured. So let me, uh, they screw on to the earbuds just like this, and it has this insert, it's grayish white color. Both my left and right earbuds, the black foam has separated from this white little peg that you screw into the earbud. And I found it out the very first time whenever I took it out of the package itself, I actually kind of pulled it off a little bit and I'm like, hey, you know, no big deal, like just push it back on, it'll be fine. What I found after repeated, uh, repeatedly putting it in and taking it out of my ear, at one point the actual foam thing uh, came off completely and was left in my ear canal while I had my, uh, the earbuds kind of in my hand. And so I actually had to push the little stud back in, kind of dig around and pull the foam thing out of my ear. Uh, this actually happened a couple times to me which was, uh, you know, obviously annoying. The straw that broke the camel's back, per se, was whenever I spent about 10 minutes trying to get the black foam thing out of my ear canal, and all I kept doing was pushing it further into my ear, and it really started to freak me out a little bit, thinking that I might not be able to get it out at all, which would be, you know, disappointing. But, so, the way to, I fix this is I just dabbed a little bit of super glue inside the foam core here, and then screwed the little pig in and let it dry and you can see that they don't come off easily anymore. And again, I had this happen to both the left and the right one, so there's clearly some issue with the way in which they're attaching these black foam things, um, air protection, to the stud for whatever reason. So the final thing that I've had an issue with these particular earbuds is the volume themselves. So it does not, they do not turn up very loudly. I can turn my phone volume all the way up and they really top out at a volume which is about, I would say, you know, on a scale of one to 10, it probably hits about a seven in terms of loudness. And so if I really want to turn the music up loudly to cancel, you know, or override something that's bleeding through these, it's really not possible. I find it most problematic when I'm using the dust collector and the planer. For whatever reason, the planer creates a really high pitched hum that seems to bleed right through these and just cancels really everything out and I could barely hear the music playing when it's on max volume. I don't know if that is an issue with this iTunes uh, earbuds specifically or if it's my phone or if it's a combination of the two. I did have an issue with my old earbuds which were not noise um, isolating earbuds uh, where the volume on the phone would be all the way up but I could barely hear them through the earbuds and I found by uh, de-pairing them and repairing them it fixed itself. I have tried that trick with these and it has not changed anything. So I do plan to reach out to the company and just ask about it if there's any way to jack up the volume uh, beyond where it is right now. If you're not uh, interested in listening to super, super loud music or you don't want to drown out maybe the, the hum of the, <laughs> the dust collector, then maybe it might not be a problem for you, but I have found it as an issue so far. Thank you for getting this far and watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, you know I'd appreciate a thumbs up anyway, but please leave comments down below and tell me why you didn't like the video and that'll help us make future videos better. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, very important these days. If you're not already following me on Instagram, please do so. That's where I post regular project updates and you get hints of future videos to come. Thanks everyone for watching and don't forget to be inspired. Um, when you play the music, you know, the nor they're, they're not noise canceling here earbuds. <clears throat>